the occasion the inauguration of our first president. George Washington, having been duly sworn in earlier today, finds relaxation talking to some of the men who helped create the government that is now about to be put to the test of leadership. Sir, Benjamin Franklin sends his regrets. He will be unable to be with you this day. Ah, well, at 84 years of age and bedridden, Benjamin deserves his time to rest. Well, without Ben's help, I would still be rewriting the Declaration of Independence. Uh, modestly spoken, Thomas, you'll require such tact as our Secretary of State. The Honorable Secretary of the Treasury, Alexander Hamilton. Uh, Mr. Adams, Mr. Jefferson, and how shall I address you, sir? Well, this morning, as the ship carrying me here from Mount Vernon arrived in the harbor, I was called by many, many names. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I heard one enthusiast refer to you as your royal highness, president of the United States of America, defender of the liberty of all the people. And to compound, the band was playing God Save the King. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think of you as Mr. President. Mr. President. Yeah. It has the unroyal simplicity we all see. You know, in the States, people are calling you the father of our country. True, but I, uh, I don't believe good morning, Mr. Father of our country, sounds quite right. <laughs> <laughs> and now, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Godspeed, tomorrow's a new day. Indeed, tomorrow's a new world. Good night, Mr. President. Good night, Mr. President. Gentlemen. Oh, oh, Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President, I'd like to ask you something. Uh, well, let me put it this way. Is it true that you threw a, a dollar, a silver dollar, across the Potomac? Well, many people, of course, uh, do feel that I threw the silver dollar across the Potomac. Actually, it was across the Arapahannock. Oh, the Arapa... I mean, you're sure it was the Arapahannock? Oh, yes. Not the Potomac? No. Well, good then this dollar belongs to me. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. President, uh, another thing. Your, your second violinist is lousy. <laughs> Hello, Jack. Working? While the men who had survived one revolution were putting their ideas of leadership to the test up north, down south in a building something like this, a man named Whitney took out a patent on a machine that was to kick us off on our second revolution, an industrial revolution. What do you say?